a short demo showing the uh, uh, new uh, 80386 Marshall Slave CPU board. Uh, sitting actually in extender bus at the moment, so it, it won't be quite as reliable as it normally would be sitting in the bus itself. It's connected to the companion uh, RAM board, in this case 32 megabyte RAM board, via this very long ribbon cable collector. Normally, uh, the boards would be side by side and we just use a one inch connector. Nevertheless, it does seem to work fairly reliably, uh, even in the extender board. Uh, at 36 megahertz, even with this cable on top of it. Uh, in the system itself, there's the other usual boards. There's the MS-DOS uh, support board, which you can't really see too well here. There's our, our front panel uh, system monitor board out here in the front, which shows the panel with the controls. There's our, our Z80 uh, CPU board, our, IDE, our dual IDE CF card board, a lava video board. There's the uh, yeah, floppy disk controller board here, uh, the serial I.O. board, and a parallel ports I.O. board, and in fact an old XCOMP hard disk controller board for those really antique uh, hard disk, uh, which uh, I really almost never use these days. This is the power supply, which this is all described in the web itself. So the uh, main challenge with a, a a board like this is to actually get the uh, monitor working. You actually have to uh, uh, program the monitor both in real and protected mode. Uh, so if we hit a reset here and come up, the system will normally come up with our Z80, which will just show the normal memory map of the Z80 and the commands that go with it. The old command uh, brings up the uh, 386 in uh, protect in, in real mode and there's the normal kind of commands you have for the 386 in uh, real mode for example this is the one megabyte memory map which we've uh, shown many other times uh, to go into protected mode you hit the old command again now when we bring up the memory map you will see not only the 16 megs but you'll actually see the 32 megs of extended memory that also exists in the bus with this uh, door to board on here. Uh, there's many of the normal kind of commands you have here. For example, the W command will allow you to download a, a, a X modem file directly into memory. And as you can see, you define a memory location now with eight digits, um, and it will um, allow you to go to that memory location and, and basically test your monitor at that different location. Uh, probably the most, uh, there are various um, uh, commands to test the memory, particularly extended memory. This is the menu you have here. For example, if you want to test, let's take option three, uh, test memory, and we'll start at two, two zero 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 zero, comma two zero zero f f f f for top, and we check the memory in that gigabyte range. Uh, you can see it's testing that particular location here. Uh, these are very large blocks of memory and in fact the full uh, 32 megs uh, of, of memory in fact but this particular test takes in the region of three or four hours to actually run through. But in this simple 64k memory we're doing a very quick check and it, it checks out as we can see okay there's no problems with the memory itself. Um, Probably the, the most critical task actually on this board is the Y command. This actually allows you to test a very short routine in memory, uh, executable routine in memory in, uh, in the high memory above the S100 bus. So again, we will, we will move this routine to location uh, to 200. And now what we're doing actually is we're inputting uh, just the data from the IL byte on the uh, on the system monitor board. If I flip these two bits, we now shift it to the corresponding question mark. If I put them back, uh, it will go back and do the continuous display. It's a very simple routine within the monitor itself that that, that basically allows you to test the. Uh, the board itself. And under these circumstances, the board is actually executing uh, in uh, the extended memory, but using the I/O ports on the bus to output the data 
and going back up to extended memory to continue the execution. So there's a massive, very rapid flip-flopping between the two buses uh, and uh, to make sure the board is working properly, you want to run a test like this overnight. And most of the other features, oh, one other thing, the board itself, you obviously can't load MS-DOS in, uh, in uh, protected mode. So to go back to real mode again, you press the O command again. We're now back to real mode. We have the normal uh, commands that you have, and the P command actually brings up MS-DOS. It may not come up with this extended. Yes, it is actually coming up. Uh, sometimes it's unreliable uh, with this extended board in here. So we have now our MS-DOS uh, running actually on the extended card here itself. So, so this is... Um, this is the final version. This is actually the sixth version of this particular board. And uh, I'll now be going out and, and picking up the uh, so-called commercial version of the board.